Hello, my name is Nigeria Lee, and I'll be discussing the very obvious effects of men and women's difference in communication. People naturally assume that communication is limited just speaking. However, communication is more than just words. It is body language, emotions, location, everything. Men and women have been miscommunicated for centuries, starting with Adam and Eve. You know how that turned out. The parties approach situations and conversations differently, which creates their lack of understanding of one another. I have read several articles and, dis and articles discussing how men and women have unique communication skills. And my goal here today is to educate you on why people of different sex have their own way of communicating. I'm sure you've heard of the saying, men are from Mars and women are from Venus. This metaphor was put into place to highlight the fact women and men differ. Not saying that all men are the same, but majority of them share the same traits. Women are the same way. We all have a special way of communicating and interacting. According to psychotherapist Bart Goldsmith, women speak with emotion, while men speak with action. He went on to say in his article, Men, Women, Emotions, and Communication in Psychology Today, that women share emotions and thoughts while men try to avoid feelings and tend to share ideas and suggestions. Although men, don't get me wrong, they will show their emotions, but they won't like it. They have a struggle doing it. Let's look at a couple key ways that men and women differ in communication skills. Body language. Body language is one of the key ways of different communication between men and women. You see it spot on. Women tend to twirl their hair and bat their eyes and do all type of full choice emotion, even when they're not trying to flirt. It's just a woman giving off her emotion and sensuality to a conversation where a man is more hard, more direct in their body languages. They're secluded or they're more relaxed as well, too. Some men are just, okay, they know they try to be. And some women take that as, you know, they don't care. That's why it's a lack of communication. A woman's eye batting can be the same to a man just being relaxed. <coughs> or a man just tensing up. You know how men and women do. If you're a man watching this, you know how you do. I'm a woman. We do different ways but we're saying the same thing. If you get what I'm saying. Body language isn't the only way that men and women differ in communication. Just think about the location of a man and woman in a crowded room. Women tend to gather in huddles. We want to be face-to-face women communicating with each other. I want to see what you're saying. I want to read your vibe by your lips and your eyes, your facial expression. Hence, our body language is always so different. While men sit back against the wall, shoulder to shoulder, observing everything in the room, sucking up all the energy of it. <laughs> As you can see, Men and women, they're different, but they're the same. This, not only know the differences of each sex, communication characteristics, we can focus on how it can affect relationships. Why would you say, what would you say is the root of any good relationship? Well, my interpretation of any good relationship is communication. I want my whole article to come. According to powerof2marriage.com, bad communication is the root of many serious marital problems and divorces. Men and women struggle with understanding each other. And I believe it's because we don't have time to learn about each other's ways. To be able to understand what someone is saying, you have to watch them, learn them, understand them. It's all part of communication. Communication is just talking. It's chemistry and passion. Not just passion like love, but, you know, emotions. Men struggle with expressing their feelings towards women and men because it shows weakness. Little do they know, women love a man with a sensitive side. But how will we know that unless we communicate with each other? Communication aside from differences can mean trust and that it's sometimes we struggle with daily. The battle of sexes don't have to be that if we just take the time to educate each other on what we know. Now that I, a woman, have shared the knowledge of our success, <coughs> sex communication, excuse me, you shared too. 
so we can stop having those awkward conversations with one another and just be us, be relationships, and spread love. Understanding the opposite sex communicates can really save a marriage or relationship by knowing why the others do what they do. The way each other, the way sex communicates is beneficial to each other is also contains some disadvantages. Some women hate the fact that men can't show their emotions or get in touch with their feminine side, or they just don't understand how they express themselves. However, this shouldn't stop someone from wanting to be more educated on the way the other sex thinks and feels. No differences in communications can be helpful or harmful. Just stay educated. Women can benefit the men. Women can, women can, uh, men can benefit the women. Also, I would just like to add, let's look at this little chart here. As you can see, this is the man side and this is the woman side. Men think, women feel. Men approach in court, women seek snacks and accept. That one or then I've read two different ways of that. Men base their decisions on facts and experiences, while women base their decisions on emotions and expectations. Men say you like them, they like the woman or love the woman. Women do tests. Hence on why they ask questions or say answers they already know and get answers they already know. Why do they ask questions to something they already know the answer to? Oh shit. Oh shit. You have to lead. You want men lead. Women want to follow. Men want sex. Women withhold sex. Men think sex is primarily physical, while women think sex is primarily emotionally. Men can't read minds, while women think we can. And that is the end of my little presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you take my little knowledge that I gave you and pass it on to the next person. Women and men need to build better communication skills with one another. And stop pushing each other away. Thank you. Bye.